Hello everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shuck and uh, I have another wee video of this morning for you and it's on a really pretty knife and when I say pretty, I mean it's blooming good looking um, this is a knife I got from brother have you noticed I got three knives from him a couple of weeks ago this is the third review and the last one so far there's more to come, I'm happy to say there's more to come and new models as well so, this is a lockback this is a modern traditional, I would call it, um, because it has all the attributes of a modern lockback or you know, a, tra a traditional lockback knife, but in modern materials, stainless steel, full carbon fiber, not laminate, proper carbon fiber. Look at that carbon fiber, isn't that just lovely? And it's called the cowfish, and that's what this little shield here is mimicking. So. The shield, the fit and finish is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely so lovely. It really is well done. The end caps are just beautiful. Is there a, there's a little slight gap there, but nothing that I would worry about. This is, you know, it's a lockback. So this, this actually moves, look, what do you see now? This actually moves up and down. So, I mean, you're always going to get a slight gap. Well, not always, but that, that, that's nothing that would worry me in the slightest. Um, just beautifully done. Lovely termination. The blade is a little bit to the left-hand side. Nothing much whatsoever. Again, you can't compare these when you're doing, you know, $200 modern knives. This is a, a traditional pattern type of a knife. You can pinch it or you can use your nails whichever you prefer there's a solid clink when it goes into place and a solid lockback you can see there on this side you have the name brother which is the maker oh, i'm just gonna there we go brother and it is in vg10 lovely blade steel for a pocket knife absolutely lovely on the other side there you are it's made by Mr. Wonton, he is a designer, and it's the 1503, and that's just a model number. They could do without the model number there, no problem whatsoever. I don't need to have the model number. But, a lovely blade. It's like a, 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 a sheep footy type blade. Um, you have a nice bit of flat up here if you did want to use um, a fixed system. But with VG10 and a basic knowledge of uh, freehand sharpening it's very easy to bring to a, a really screaming edge beautiful beautiful knife lovely shape on it it reminds me of the benchmade proper which i will do a comparison of later on and it is that sort of a blade shape but a completely different knife beautiful swedge at the top there look at that look at that swedge now let me just show you this is not coming down to a fine point this is actually a knife you could actually do work with it's a lovely swedge but it's not a particularly fine point it's thin enough it'll get a scalp out you know you can poke a scalp um but it's just a little work knife too and vg10 is a really good steel for a pocket knife look at the delica how long has it lasted you know on vg10 but this is just, you know, this is a, a fourth of the price of a Delica. Or maybe a wee bit more, but not much. A gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Now, let's give you some measurements. Let's do the inches first. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and a quarter inches long. Yeah, that is... Let me see, that is 16 centimetres long with a cutting edge of about six and a, just, what is that, about six, it's just under six and a half centimetres or two and a half inches. So, really, really lovely, I have to say, just the perfect size for a little pocket knife. What weight is it? Let me just get the scales out here. I just want to show you the action on this. This is a uh, lockback, as I said. Now, watch this. <laughs> how good is that? That's how good the manufacturing is. That's how good, that's how well made it is. Isn't that just stunning? It really is stunning. Swinging freely. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the weight. Let's get to the weight. Now, there we go. In ounces, it is 2.6 ounces. 
and we'll take that to the grams 75 grams so although it looks quite heavy because of all the stainless steel and back springs it's not it's a beautiful knife now to be honest with you i'll use a slip with this you know, a lovely black slip, and this is a Sunday carry. This is a, a going out carry, going out for a meal, going anywhere. It's just a beautiful knife that would not offend anyone. It's a blooming finger magnet, I'll tell you that. An absolute finger magnet. But I think it's beautiful. Now, would you like some comparisons? Let's see. Here it is against a Chris, Mees, Chris Reeves Monundi. Now, this one cost £8. Very high quality Chris Reeves, but it was just a, a size comparison for those rich ones out there that have a Chris Reeves Monday. And here's another one. Here is a number six um, open L. So it's about the same size as a number six open L or a Chris Reeves Monday. Now we'll get them out of the way. I'll close them up. And then here we have a case, and this is just a case Barlow. And there's not that much difference. It's a wee bit bigger than the Case Barlow. But the one that I do want to bring it out against, I'll move this down a wee bit so we can get you seeing that. I'm going to put them shoulder to shoulder. They are not that much difference in size. The cutting edge is about the same size. The handle's a bit bigger on this. Although this is just straighter. So this has the... The typical sort of uh, the Benchmade handle. So this part here takes away from the holding side of it, if you like. And uh, whereas this one, I can get a full four fingers very, very comfortably. This one on the Benchmade, I'm relying on, you know, getting at the end. I'm just at the end of the... No, very comfortable. Don't get me wrong. Very comfortable. So the blade shapes. This is where, when as soon as I seen it, I thought, "Oh my goodness, they've copied!" But it's not a copy. It is a completely different blade shape. And um, the swedge at the front of this is absolutely stunning. I love the longer long pull, if you like. Really, really lovely blade. So there, there's a. There really isn't much difference. Maybe an eighth or two eighths, um, of an inch difference in blade size lengthwise. This is obviously a bit fatter. But again, I mean, you're talking knives that are much more expensive. This costs about $28, somewhere in and around there. It's from AliExpress. So, I mean, the prices do go up and down. But on average, say, even say $30 you had to pay. This is the bargain of the, the year for that price. It honestly is. I have used this extensively and I have cut and any chores around the house. This does it. Now, it's not a slicer, but I don't think that's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be a pen knife. It doesn't have to slice grapes or tomatoes very slicely. It's just over 30 thousands behind the edge. So it's, it's, it's never going to be the best slicer in the world, but it really genuinely cuts. Now, let me just get this. Get a wee bit of paper and we'll just show you. To be honest with you, I haven't even sharpened it today before this review, which is terrible. I should have done, but I only found out today I could do it. Oh, oh, there you go. I've got a little... Now, there we go. I've got a little bit of a... I don't know what I've done with that. Oh, it's not. It's just maybe the paper. Oh, there we go. No, it's just a paper. It's a lovely slicer, I have to say. It really is lovely. And to sharpen, because it's the VG10, I'm just getting rid of this, sorry. Because it's the VG10, it is incredibly easy to sharpen. But it's just the looks. That carbon fibre is just so well done. The joins, you can't see. I can bring that up close to you. And just to look at the, the different facets you get from that carbon fiber. Isn't that just beautiful? And look at the joins. You cannot feel the joins at all. Even on the corners, it is perfectly done. And for a knife of that price, I am so happy that I've found Brother because they have more knives. I know I've seen them, so I can't say anything yet. They're not for release yet, but it's very, very soon. Um, I think there's another one coming next week and then one a few weeks after that. So we're going to get some more Brother knives. And I'm hoping if they're of this quality, we're in for a really good year. Because you see, for looks wise, I think this is the nicest looking knife I have had this year. I genuinely do think that's the nicest looking knife that I've had this year. If you put, now I love this. I, I, I find it hard to get this out as a secondary knife. It is a beautiful knife.
I love it. It's fancy. I put the choil in that. But this is making its way more and more into my pocket. And it's not because it has a lock back. It's because it looks so blooming good. It really just looks good. It makes this proper look very bland. Although I love the micarta. And hint, hint, the next one of the next knives that they're bringing is in my carta. And it's going to be a pen knife. I think it's a lockback. But, you know, that's that's two knives down the, the road, I think. So, I mean, I'm just so looking forward to it. Um, I feel like I'm on a wee adventure again. I remember when I first found Ganzo. Now, I didn't find Ganzo. But, I mean, when I started finding the value I could get out of a Ganzo. This is value. It's a bit dearer than a Ganzo, but not by much. But we're, you know, we're talking a couple of dollars more. But for the quality, for carbon fibre and for VG10 and just a beautiful fit and finish. I mean, you can, you can slightly feel this one here. It's a wee bit raised, but it is so well hefted that there's no harsh bits on it. You know what I mean? It's been well and truly done beautifully. So I'm really pleased, but look at that. Tell me the last time you've seen one do, uh, any any make of, of Backlock do that. I mean, that is just unbelievable. So, do I recommend this? I recommend this more than I have any knife in a long while. That is not only just a, a proud carry, it is a very useful carry with a very useful blade steel with top end materials i.e carbon fiber it's just beautiful and stainless steel that is highly polished you know it's not just i don't know it just it just speaks to me it really really speaks to me now maybe i'm going over the top you'll let me know down below but i know that the people who have already got this have all come back to me and said they couldn't believe how good it was and the action it was um over on aliexpress all you've got to do is go on to aliexpress Type in Brother Knife F, what is it? F353, oh gosh, Stephen. <laughs> you just have to, <laughs> it's the Brother Knife 1503, 1503, you can see that there. So it's just type in Brother Knife 1503 and it will bring you up this beautiful knife and you can just order straight from there. So with that, I shall leave that sitting there in the upward position because I think it's just stunning, stunning, stunning knife. Um, yeah, just go and buy one. I, I don't have any worries. Um, I've had enough people come back to me and said, you know, they've got one and it's of good quality. So I just hope they're all like that. Um, for me on this knife here, highly recommend it. I'm so looking forward to the future. I'd done the fixed blade a couple of days ago. Unbelievable. It was in D2. So they're mixing the steel up. And given us different knives that are out there. I mean, you know what I mean? This is the competition. I, I'm, I'm sorry, that's, you know, you've also got the um, uh, Lion Steel, the Dom. But it's, I mean, the price is, you know, nearly four times as much as that. So, you know, maybe not four, but at least three times as much. I go for this every time, sorry. Do you know what I mean? Now, I'm very lucky that I've got all three. So I don't have to make that choice. But if I had to make a choice, if they were sitting in front of me, I think I would buy this and have money for another knife or another two knives compared to them. So, and they're good knives. There's nothing wrong with them as knives. But this to me is the bargain. For me, this is the bargain of the year so far. So I'm gone. I've waffled far too long on one knife. Have a lovely day. I'm away for a wee cup of tea. Bye-bye now. Bye now.